Welcome everyone to Mystery Wrestling 5! It's the show where nothing is predetermined. It's all real. I didn't tell you this in advance. We're, we're doing a brawl for all today. A brawl for all? We are doing a brawl. No, we're not doing a brawl for all. Oh. It's your conventional show. Hey, I am Evil Uno, your regular host here with special guest host Excalibur. Thank you, Uno, for having me. Thank you. Is this Mystery your, Wrestling for having me? Hey, of course. Uh, the not Different entities, I swear. Um, is this your first time in Gatineau, Quebec, Canada? By a long shot. By yes. a long yeah. shot. I think a lot of people have never been here. Uh, it's beautiful here, but that's not what we're going to talk about. We're going to be talking about some great professional wrestling, and I think we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't wait any longer. We should go to our first match. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mystery Wrestling Five. Our first match is a four way dance. The referee, Brian Renda. Do not care for this guy. He no, Brian Renda, one of the worst. Will be repeated. Absolutely one of the worst. One by one. Our first participant. We're no strangers to Ortiz. One half of proud and powerful. One of the best tag wrestlers of all time. Off to a strong start a here strong with the mystery start. aspect. We do love our mysteries here, and we do not uh, skim on the costs. I will tell Lord you that much. Our opponents, our next participant. Trent Seven in the house. Fresh out of Wolverhampton, all the way to Gatineau. Two great sister cities. Of course, of course. Known to be the Twin Cities. Oh, here we go. Our third participant. Oh. Excalibur, you're probably not as familiar with this man. This man is Matsu Sejo, one half of I'm TDT. The team. That's right, one of the best teams. You can hear this crowd loving their fellow Quebecois. And last but not least. He's kicking his shoes uh -oh. off. What is this? Is it Marina Shafir? No, it's not. It's people! Oh. Lights, Mike. Mike Bailey does not care for my equipment. Those lights are very hot. He could have caused a small fire. The show would have been over before it began. Uh, we've actually had a... Uh, uh, Oh, oh, well, hey, this is why I do it. This is why I spend tens and tens of thousands of dollars on this match alone. Wait, we're getting paid for this? Uh, <laughs> some of us are. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, your opening cut, that's a Mystery Wrestling 5. Matthew St. Jock going for it, Speedball going for it, Ortiz, Trent Seven. Seven. Going. Oh, educated feet of Mike Bailey. These men know Mike Bailey, not gonna let him have it. Oh, here we go. Two great tag wrestlers trying to isolate Speedball, but Speedball. Speedball, Ma Mike Bailey, don't call him Speedball for nothing. Where's he from? Laval? Uh, Laval, Quebec, Canada. Not far from here, about two and a half hour. Whoa! Whoa. Hey, I just... That's where Arthur Calamitas lives. <laughs> Whoa! Big calf kick from Ortiz, beautiful. No man sports overalls like he does. No, I mean, when the overalls go up, that's when he means that's business. Right. Of that's course. They come down. He's the opposite of every other wrestler in the world. Big lockup. We've got our first headlock. Are we keeping track? Well, no, we are. This uh, we could build a timer on the spot if we wanted to. Twitch chat. Oh. Should we start counting? Yeah, hey, let They're us gonna know. say yes. yes. They're gonna hey, say yes. Good point. I'm also going to ignore them entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! We're talking wives, baby. I don't know what's going on over here. Hey, I mean, he is a funky monkey. He is a married man. Tackle not big enough to take the girthy Trent Seven I mean, down. Trent Seven 
a stout bastard. I've, I've tried to lift him before, much heavier than he seems. Oh, we're gyrating. That's where his strength comes from. But not enough of strength. Whoa! Oh, nice. Single leg. Nice takedown by Ortiz. Uh oh. Trent Seven putting on the brakes for. Oh. Oh, tapping him on the head, going for the shoulder, drop down. Here we go. Whoa! Tremendous agility, elevation by Trent Seven, and there's a, a body slam. Goop! And the slam. Whoa! Big leg from Trent Seven. Let him hear it, Gatno. That's right. Oh, Trent Seven known for his very disgusting underwear chop. Here we go. Kicked. Oh, there it is. It's got some extra stink on it. Boom. Oh, Matthew St. Jacques. Matthew St. Jacques, one of the hardest hitters here in Quebec. Um, once broke a pitcher of beer over my head. Oh, he's running. He's running. Was that part of a match? <laughs> it was, unfortunately. Uh, not, not a bar brawl, although we have had a few of those as well. Big centaur from Metro St. Jacques. Oh, mounting some punches on Trent Seven. Ah, uh, but he's too focused on Seven. Now speedball coming. Oh, oh what a forearm to speedball Mike Bailey. Did you say ski ball? No, I do love ski ball. I'm actually a fan of it. More carnival games in general. Oh! Ortiz trying to oh be my the equalizer, God. but talk about hard hitting. Whoa! Oh. Sent outside, thankfully, very close to our fans, but not close enough for me to get sued. You know, he would be much cool if he was ski ball, Mike Bailey. Oh! Big chops by Trent Seven. Every time you chop him, he spits on carnival tickets. Yeah, I won. <laughs> <laughs> you get him dead center, you get 500 points. Here we go, off the ropes by Trent Seven. Uh oh, seven. Whoa! Very low and festive. Well, yeah, he, he, he left his feet and then was immediately back on his feet That's before right. he made contact with them. By far, this is a low rig and by far the lowest tope I've ever seen. Go for a pile driver. No, it's a power bomb. Uh oh, speedball. Don't do it, guys. Speedball. Oh, no. Uh, conveniently, two men also tried to catch as well. That, that gave me heart palpitations. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the implications right. of it. It gets very dangerous. Our crowd, very close. By far our biggest show as of yet. We're looking like there are thousands out there. Thousands. Tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. Oh! No. oh! That's a Quebec beer. They're heavier than most. So you know that hurts. It is heavier. I told heavier. you. I told you. I told you. <laughs> It was not a lie. Metro Sejok in control. Has been in control now for a little bit as well. So here at Mystery Wrestling, what are the rules of a four-way match? Is it no disqualification situation because there's four men, no tags? You know, that's great. That's uh, a great question that I've never thought of until now. I, found, I discovered 24 hours ago that I'm a rules pervert. Really? Yeah. You love them? I guess. I guess so. <laughs> I actually, uh, I was thinking today of making sure we had a, a, a match that had such long rules and formats that you could speed read through, and then I completely forgot to book that exact match. Backbreaker! St. Shock? No. They call that actually a house rules match. Oh, yeah. Well, every week they change, right? So. And also they're needlessly complex. <laughs> Great lighting though. Oh, here we go. Uh -oh. Here we go. Cloverleaf. Quebec Cloverleaf. Shouldn't it be like a fleur de lis? It should be. You know what? That's great. If he hasn't done that, well, I will pass it on. All right. The fleur de lis. Ooh, we've got a team up between. Also, we have a lot of tag experts in this match. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -oh. It's a DDT. Oh, boy. Uh oh, speedball. He's going to take out a ceiling Matt tire. Sir. Three. Matt, sir, look behind you. It's speedball. Whoa! Anytime anyone goes to the top rope here, I get scared. The Whoa. ceiling tiles are safe for now. Beautiful dropkick from speedball Mike Bailey. The crowd behind the Quebecois. Ooh. Nice axe kick. Oh, chest kick. And a shooting star press. This could be it. Um, Brian Renda a little too slow on that count. That's why everybody hates him. It's true. The entirety of this city hates Brian Renda. <laughs> they are coming alive here in the Gatineau Thunderdome. Oh, oh, one-armed powerbomb. And 
Trent Seven looking to put it away. Oh! What? Incredible fortitude by Speedball Mike Bailey. Does not want to lose in front of the home province crowd. That's right. Trent Seven and Ortiz getting to their feet. Here we go. Oh, here it is. Nice block by Ortiz. Manhattan drop. Oh, right and... to the jewels. Whoa, what a flabjack. That was terrifying. Oh. Oh, he's in sync, baby. He's got rhythm. Oh, here it comes. Oh, floppy fish. Two. Ooh. What do people in Gatineau think of the Commonwealth? Uh, you know, I don't think they're even aware of it. I'll be honest with you. I only learned about it last year. Who do you and think I, is on your money? I'm 36 years old. Here we go. Fisherman suplex. That's his finishing maneuver blocked by Matsu Sejouk. Pile driver, that's his finishing maneuver blocked by Speedball. Speedball rapid fire shots. He's eating up. Oh! Incredible series of kicks. But here is shot. King Clobber Source. Seven. Uh, Spine Buster! Matsur pulling in Tread Seven. This could be his opportunity. Nope, Seven. The fake, the right, and now Trent Seven. Oh, whoa! Tiger. One, two, Drop. oh! Broken up by Speedball Mike Bailey. And those educated feet. Have you actually seen the paperwork on those feet? Does I have it, not. Does he have a master's? I have no clue. He seems like a, do you guys have technical colleges in America? Yeah. Okay, he seems like that time of guy. Well, not, Those feet are electricians, for not sure. Like, not like a McGill University, like no, went to no. the city. No, 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 not at all. He did two years right into a job. Here we go. <laughs> Back rank by Ortiz. Oh, Tiger Claw. Another back rake by Ortiz. Loves posing. He's going to have trouble at customs today, bringing all that uh, Canadian Extra flesh skin. across the border. Hey. What the skin at the black market look like? Here we go. Ducks on. Oh, oh my God! God! Triangle moots off by Speedball Mike Bailey. He's feeling the crowd. Zigs when you think he may zag. Speedball. And Ortiz now, the last man left standing. Well, maybe not. Ortiz. Uh, oh. Top pay! Caught by the boys. Didn't get all of it. He's coming back. Gets sweeped onto uh, the apron. That's the hardest part of the ring. Uh, this, the ring post is, but I digress. That's, I've never been swept onto a ring post. And I don't want... Oh, this oh, is going to suck. Hate this. Ah! Oh, Ortiz almost oh. sucked on his toe. <laughs> oh, God. You a Here. foot guy? No, not at oh. all. Not even close. <laughs> I'm into a lot of things. That is not one of them. Here we go. Speedball. He does a double twirly bird oh. in two. Oh, it's been blocked. Yeah. Ortiz knew it was coming. Power slam. Beautiful. One, two. But Trent Seven is up. He's picking him up. What's it going to be? Trent Seven. Think of power bomb, but uh-oh. Matthew St. Jacques. Oh, they're both going for power. Oh, back body. Oh. Oh. Ah. Wait, speedball. Oh. No, not today. Oh. What is this? Oh, no, oh, don't do oh, it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Now, I'm not sure who got her the most there. The Two. Man. Ortiz breaks it up. Now, if I was Trent Seven, I would have reached up, pulled on the suspenders, pulled him into a sunset flip. Also, oh, I'm not yeah. speaking into the microphone. Whatever. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. You know? Oh! oh! Fisherman busted by Ortiz. One, two. Broken up by Trent. Trent Seven saving this match multiple occasions now. Oh. Oh, don't uh, uh, do. Uh, 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 it's. This show doesn't. Do! Not a burning hammer in Gatineau, Quebec. Broken up by Speedball. Just just adding insult to that break by slapping him right in the lower back. Oh, big roundhouse, the thrust kick combo. Oh, this Speedball, could be it. the whirly bird. Oh, 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 oh my no. God. That, oh, no. that is so gross. That gum went right into the front row, right into a fan's lap. Speedball uh -oh. off the top. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Punishing the one, side, the two, oh. on the win. Hey, I don't have a, I don't have a drink. 
the cheers, my friend. Hey, one thing we do here at Mystery Wrestling is we love our funk music. Mixed live. That's right. You'll never find music like this elsewhere because we own the rights, baby. Royalty free, baby. That's right. That's how we make our money. Another way, if you would like to support us, patreon.com slash mystery wrestling and see this show and every show previously, we appreciate your support. That was a hell of a start. Hey, hey we start hot here at Mystery Wrestling. It's all downhill from here, though. It's all downhill. You know, we like to celebrate all types of wrestling here. Uh, at Mystery Wrestling. I don't know what to call that, but that was that was incredible at the very least. It was an exciting display of athleticism and Canadian and Commonwealth pride. Of course. Um, I really didn't know about the Commonwealth. I didn't, yeah. Somebody told me last year. This is a legitimate thing. You can all ask me about this later on. I didn't realize it. I knew the queen, and I knew we referred to the queen Who for some... Who did you think was on your money? I knew it was the queen. I just didn't realize she, she meant was... something to us. I swear. I swear. It's the truth. It's the truth. There you have it. That was Mystery Wrestling match number one. How you th- how, it's pretty warm in here, isn't it's it? It's a little bit. Yeah. I actually was, was going to wear my jacket. I'm glad I didn't. I'm, uh, I'm... Actually, people have been asking about your shirt in the chat. Oh, what is your shirt? Oh, it's uh, Omar from The Wire. Omar. Oh, hey. Great TV show. Great, Great TV show. show. Yeah. I thought it kind of dropped off after season two, I'll be oh. honest. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Controversial take. Yeah, I really, really like the voting episodes. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Shout out to Chris Bauer, That's a.k.a. Right. Frank Sabatka. One of the greats. All right. You hear that chant? That's the fans chanting for Bryce Remberg and match. Wait, don't leave. You're my ride. <laughs> Bryce Bell. Bryce, I paid for so much more time. What are you doing? He... Okay, well, <laughs> you may not have seen it, but Bryce Remberg got a second entrance. Now the fans hate him. This is what happens here at Mystery Wrestling. Here we go, Mystery Wrestling match number two. Our next match is a Campfire Rules match. Whoa. I don't know what that means. Bryce Ramsburg. You've never heard of the great Campfire Rules that happened all over the Northeast. You know, it's funny. On my notes, it says Campground Rules. <laughs> no, mine says campfire. Really? But anyway, I was going to make a Yukon Territory show. Anyway. You know, yeah, I've you been there s- before, actually. I've been really? on, yeah, I have, yeah. I've wrestled the most northern city in the world in Iqaluit before, yeah. In the Yukon Territory. Anyways, coming up first. It's the Mad Scout, Jake in a campfire rules match, it is going to be this Manning, Man Scout Jake Manning. I'm not even certain if he's ever been defeated in his own wrestling match. Coming in prepared, more prepared than any opponent we've ever had by far. And in his uh, his rucksack, if you will, he's got, uh, I'm sure, loaded up with plunder. Yeah. You know what? I love that it's an AEW branded sack. It means he got it for free. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Oh, and his, I, mean, uh, I mean, everybody knows the rules of a campfire rules match. Uh, yeah, I, I absolutely know. I, that's why we're going to tell you in great detail several minutes from now. I mean, yes, Bryce please. obviously knows. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, 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 it's Brandon Cutler! Does he have a bindle? He does. Like a hobo. <laughs> Hey, there's a fan dressed up like him! What the hell? <laughs> Here in Gatineau! I didn't tell anyone he was coming! That guy, his life just got hey, made. Hey, shout out to you, Gatineau man! Shout out to you! Gatineau Cutler. I hope Brandon Cutler sees him. Nope. Nope, nope. does not. No, no, just Will like... not, <laughs> does not acknowledge him at all. <laughs> Oh, wait. Brandon! Ah! <laughs> yeah. Now we're talking. How did he know? Giving that man his flowers. 
is a campfire rules match. First, he hates tent camping. Brandon Campbell! You know, I'll be honest, myself, I don't love camping in tents. I'm more oh, of a... I dis Buys it. Yeah, my, my dad owned one of those uh, uh, those silver bullet looking ones. He yeah. is the 10 time World Bear Wrestling Champion. Whoa, really? Man Scout G. Manny. Well, Jake and I are going to have to have a conversation later. But Have you wrestled a bear before? No, but no. I mean really divulge my private life. But, oh, I'm you know, sorry. That's know, a good so. point. Yes. Well, I, oh, you're trying to entice what kind of bear he wrestled. Is yeah, what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, I see. Yeah. I see where we were going with that. Is it a sun bear, a Kodiak, a grizzly, a black bear? Red pandas. They're going extinct. Aren't they marsupials? Are they? Oh, no. So our expert says no. Our expert says no. Our expert can fuck oh. the fuck off. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh. oh, Jake Manning doing what he can. He's reading the rules. Uh, He's figuring it out. Fire rules. That's right. Tell he, us the rules, Jake. Jake knows this is illegal. <laughs> but not when he does it. Off the ropes. Swing and a miss by Cutler. And, uh oh. Man Scout. He's That's, lost in his doing? own book. That LeVar, is an interesting chapter for sure. LeVar Burton style, reading Rainbow. No! Oh! He lost his page! How's he ever gonna complete that story? You know, I was a little I was a little scared that you swore, but they're doing it. Oh, did he, he pulled another book. He's got another book. At the same page, too. R.T. Harris! <laughs> Beautiful! Finish the paragraph, Jake! Uh-oh, catapult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boot in the face. Great spatial awareness. Oh my god. Oh! Manning. Two. And he's still reading. He's boning up on the campfire rules as we speak. Whoa! Uh -oh. What is this? Oh! oh! The stick from his bindle! Oh. oh, and it broke too! It broke! He hit him so hard it snapped in two! Oh! He said. That's why Cutler doesn't play baseball. That's right, not a sports guy at all. Can you tell? Wow, that thing is broken. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, watch out. I can get sued here. <laughs> my God. This man did not hear the rules that I had in my meeting before this. So can I tell you why I hate tent camping? Go on, please. As, as a child, dad took us tent camping. We're, we're in the tent on air mattresses. Wake up in the middle of the night, and I'm floating oh, because no. it began raining in the middle of the oh. night, and our, our tent was at the bottom of a ravine. Oh! Where did those come from? That's gratuitous! Oh, he's trying to tell stories. This is oh. Guys, I'm gonna have to find you. We can't do headshots here. Cookie sheet or not. Oh wait. Brandishing oh a fly God. swatter. Not a fly swatter. He's gonna spank him! Wait a second. Oh! We've got a swatter off! Cutler came prepared! Ah! Hey! Oh, it's oh, blocked! No. It's blocked! This is tense! Oh, oh, he's got the upper hand! Oh! I was gonna say a real morbid story, but I realized it would be bad if I did. Uh, but I felt that before. <laughs> Here it is. It continues on. All right, I'll tell it. Just a soup salon of child abuse? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much is what I was going to admit to. Here we go. <laughs> Chop off. Big tumbleweed. Jake Madden go for the bit. One, but two. Yes and no. But no. Who's running the bell? 
Oh, you guys got a bell. Okay. We, have, we have a bell ringer. Don't worry. Uh, we're, Bryson, Bryson just pointing at somebody. No, we're professionals. <laughs> oh, he's got rope. I, guys, I don't know what you're going to do with this. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Is Manscout thinking... A literal clothesline? Ah! <laughs> oh, that's two. Bump it and seat it for the clothesline three. Wait, Bryce. Bryce getting all tied up. I think it, Bryce is unaware that he is being tied as we speak. How's he going to count? This is a lot of clotheslines. Uh-oh. Man's got... Uh-oh. <laughs> Roll up! Oh wait! He Bryce can't is tied up! He can't He's count. tied up! <laughs> Bryce Jesberg is tied up! Uh, oh yeah, that's right, pull his pants down! <laughs> <laughs> Brand Cutler's getting that rope! Oh, it's a roll up! Oh. One, two, this could be it! Oh! But also, no. I just want to compliment the testicular fortitude of Bryce Remsberg, who last night got kicked very hard on the balls yes. by Christian Cage. Uh, yes, uh, I asked him, I was like, how did that feel? And he said, he hit me, he squared both. He hit both. Hey, I don't know. I, whoa! Wait, man, scout! Oh my god, backbreaker! Flatliner, this is it! Big combo Five, by man, scout! Two. What are the rules of this match? Well, as we've seen, Ropes are legal. Camp ground supplies are legal. Okay, but yeah. it's a campfire rule. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. Okay, I'm get, I understand now. Okay. I mean, you know, you're not going to put rope by a camp. Oh, wait, what does he have? What is, what is? No! no! <laughs> My ring! <laughs> My ring! <laughs> what are you doing? He just cleaned that. Chocolate I, stains all over the place. We literally cleaned up bananas from last show. This morning, what are you doing? Oh, oh! What is, was that a pebble? He threw a what? I'm gonna start a fire in our sugar room. cookie. Stop! What are you <laughs> guys? What are you doing? You're match number two. <laughs> oh, oh the tin of cookies. It's over. The tin of cookies. It's over. Cutler, it's not done yet. Reaching deep into that bindle. Oh, what is this? Into his bag of holding, if you will. What? It, whoa! Oh! Oh, he's got a fire stick! Oh, it's... I don't... If you it's start a, a fire, I swear to you, I will fight oh, wait, he's you. He's going to make a s'more on the man scout. No! Oh! 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 Do not eat that! Do not! Oh, no. oh my God! Driving the skewer into his skull. I completely agree, Brandon Cutler. You are a sick fuck. Wait, you got nervous when I said the F word. Yeah, well, at this point, everyone in this room has said it. I might as well. The rules don't apply in the campfire rules match. Here we go. He's made a s'mores in his mouth. Oh! Tribute to his friends, the Young Bucks won. He kicked out of one. The nutrients. Have fired him up! Man Scout feeling it! Who? 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 I'm gonna stop Ooh, and here we go! <laughs> oh, Man Scout! Oh! Oh! Big honky tonk fan! Yeah, he shook, he rattled, he rolled! I bet that's an audio nightmare. It probably <laughs> is, but guess what? I'm not an engineer. Oh! Wow, we're doing cool moves too. <laughs> there it is, one, two. Oh, Cutler. So close. So close. Wow. Come on, man, Scout. You got more left in the tank, baby. Uh-oh, what is he doing? Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe he's gonna go build, build an igloo. No, not an igloo. Was I supposed it's to be a jet! Yes. You bastard. <laughs> what is going on here? The pup tent. 
by the man scout. And oh. this, is, this is how you win a campfire rules match. You put your opponent in the pup tent, and then you light it on fire. Oh, oh, he's in there. Uh-oh. He's up to it. Wait, is this like coffin rules? I guess not. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 he's good now. Rising from the grave. Oh, he's dragging him in. He's dragging him into hell. To hell, a tent, a nylon tent on oh, the campground. The door is being closed as we speak. Oh, they're fighting. They're really duking it out. Cutler gasping for air. There it is, one, two. Oh, oh we might not have seen the action, but obviously it would seem Jake Manning got the best of that one. Uh-oh. No. Oh, oh no. And that's a two-person tent. Don't do it. But he, that's a two-person tent. Oh, no. Oh, they're fighting. The theater oh, of the mind. This is too hardcore. Thank goodness they're in the tent, or else you would be banned from Twitch right I now. I know. I don't want to know what they're up to in there. This is camping. Oh, okay, there you go. Thank you. I thought they were talking Rampage, which I was real confused about. 10, 9 Central on TNT. Yeah, that's right. Watch it tomorrow. Also on TSN. Plus. At some indeterminate right? point. Yeah. I think. Yeah, Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> wow, really? We don't have our notes in front of us. Oh! Oh, there was a kick out. There was a kick out. Sorry. We heard the sound. The match continues. Uh, uh, Bryce is back. Nothing has changed. What is go what? No, is everything has changed. <laughs> All right, I okay. I wish we had a camera inside of that tent so I could know what happened in there. As warm as it is in here, imagine what it's like in that tent. It's gotta be awful. They're trading right hands. Ooh. Oh, Jake Manning, yeah. great right hand. Brent Cutler, a little. Oh. oh Jake Manning, the. The man scout, Eric Cannon. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ooh. Oh, man, ooh. bringing the heat. Ooh. It's all in the mustache. Oh. oh, he tried to duck, but could barely do it because he had something on his head. Here it is. It's a puff handle oh. slam. Cutler. Cutler. One, two. No. He kicks out. Credit to Bryce Remsburg, who tried to get, uh, or was almost tripped up by the tent. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh. No! Color, that, no! That is definitely a health risk. Do not do that. To who? I, to everyone involved. <laughs> also, I just realized this is going to put a ton of holes into my ring. What have I, what have I done? No! Big right hand from Jake Mack. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, my God. Please don't do this. Oh, the string oh. lights on the ceiling oh. are coming down, baby! Oh. 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 This is it! One, two, three! It had to be! This is a message to all professional wrestlers yes. around the world. You challenge Jake Manning to a campfire rules match at your own peril. That's he right. He is unbeatable. That's right. If you're going to do that, you are bound to lose. Also, if you're a bear, it would seem he'll beat you too. Even a marsupial. Now, can we get a broom out here? What? A Jake Manning going back home. Not empty handed. He's got his backpack filled with cliff bars, I'm sure. So I was actually about to stand up and get another drink, but I realized due to all the carnage in the ring, we're gonna have to be on camera for about three minutes while yes. people sweep it up. Definitely. Oh, uh, Brandon Cutler eating the leftover marshmallows. Yes, unfortunately, there's gonna be a lot of sweeping in the next uh, four or five minutes. In fact, um, why aren't they doing it right now? Where, what? Sweep it up. Sweep, boys, I, I can't yell any louder. Somebody sweep the ring. Okay, oh. there you go. We've set them out. So I hear there's a Mystery Wrestling Patreon. There is. If you go to patreon.com slash mystery wrestling, you can get this show and all four previous Mystery Wrestling 4, Mystery Wrestling 3, Mystery Wrestling 2, and our very first Mystery Wrestling 1. Could you believe that? 
That's what it's called. Five, four, three, two. We do it backwards. One. We do it backwards here. Tier one, you get those shows. Tier two, you get our other shows. Lit Zero Seven, typically done in French, but we will give you English commentary for it. And you get all the extra stuff that happens solely in this venue. We're talking about photography, the pre-show photography, the backstage photography, and our pre-show match. And at tier three. You get a signed poster. That's what I was gonna ask. From every individual on this show, including myself and Excalibur. And Mrs. Uno. And Mrs. Uno also signed it. I did. You I did. I, I would love to cut to a camera to you, but I do not have that budget. I'll, ju I'll just, I'll just. Hi. Hey, there it is. Three masked people on screen. Uh, they're cleaning up the ring and they're just putting it under the ring, which, you know what? Probably the smart play. Probably the smart play. Not something I enjoy because I have to clean it later. You mean they're not going to sweep it up later? They. I mean, after they tear down the one ring. of us will have to, and it'll probably be me, unfortunately. That is the. You know, uh, you know, I don't know if you ever run a show before. A lot of help putting it up, not a whole lot of help putting <laughs> it down. What? A <laughs> tremendous insight to all the aspiring wrestling promoters. That's right. I hope you like lower back pain. Also, if we're going to get in on the debate, you should buy your pro wrestlers water yes. and provide them with water. That is... We're pro water here on this uh, on Mystery Wrestling. Water. All right, it would seem the sweeping is just about to be done, which means we're just seconds away from our third wrestling match here on Mystery Wrestling 5. Our referee is entering the ring. We're just sweeping the last little bits of graham crackers, and we will be ready. Chat wants you to drink some water. I cannot drink He's water without ruining this equipment, so. <laughs> I just realized my mask is not centered. Oh, there you go. Much better. That is the oh. worst when people don't tell you oh, that. The like, worst. Oh, God. Several hours later. Yeah. All right. I think we spent enough time talking. It's time for match number three. Does he know how a microphone works? No. Like, you don't have to shout in. Oh, really? <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> I will tell you one of the early AEW countdown specials. My mask was basically like this for the entire thing, and I had a, a tassel like over my head. Yeah. Nobody told me. It was just, the I, worst. I, just, I just did the entire thing. Oh! Oh! God, I love when we use this song. I was gonna offer you a drink, but. I can't. I can't. Oh! It's fresh, fresh air! air! I forgot we have lower thirds now and I need to trigger it. Here it comes. Here it comes. I do too much work. It's fresh air, Junior Benito and McCray Martin. If you do not know, they're actually from around here. Are they? Ottawa and Gatineau, literally 10 minutes from each other, trained in our school together some of my very first few students and one of the very best tag teams on the independent scene right now. Is there a big breakdancing scene in Ottawa? A big what? Breakdancing scene in oh, Ottawa. Oh, yes, yes. Really? Oh, yeah, huge. Huge. In fact, uh, World of Dance, one of their stops is Gatineau. I don't know how. It, that is completely the truth. You couldn't see it, but under my ass mask, I did big eyebrows. <laughs> but you knew I did big eyebrows. I knew it. Yeah. I could tell. I could. I could read body language very well. All right, All right, Excalibur, taking his little break. It's his time. Don't worry. I'm still around. We're gonna block the view over here. Hello, Hi. Mrs. Uno. Welcome. Hi. I'm just here for a placeholder. Okay, there we go. All right. Coming up next in this tag team match, match number three of Mystery Wrestling 5, Fresh Air's opponents today is Miracle Generation! That's Dustin Waller and Kylan, no, Kylon Kylon King. King. Kylon King. Not to be confused with Kylan King. From the Northeast pro wrestling scene in the in America, one of the very best tag teams. You can find them on Beyond Wrestling. They just recently did their GCW debuts. They are an incredible young tag team. Probably, to me, some of my favorite up and comers. This is an exciting match because it's two guys that are two teams not super familiar with get to see what they can do. And now, I mean, we've got a packed house here at the Gatineau Thunderdome. Hey, there is no better place to break out than right here in Gatineau, Quebec, Canada. And I was going to say, we got all the people on the Twitch stream. This 
Cheeks, not a sex position. No, ab no. absolutely not. Not They're even young. close. They're young. It's, they don't know. It's a byproduct of the act, but of <laughs> that's right. Many potential positions. It's a positions. descriptive act, but not a specific position. You know, just in case you need to be taught what that this is. This is not where people need to learn about sex no, positions. No, no. In fact, we won't teach you anything here, except for the Commonwealth. It would seem, if you did not know, Canada, you, you part of the Commonwealth. Canada, Australia. New really. <laughs> All right, here we go. Big tag match in Mystery Wrestling. Five. It's match number three. A lot of numerology here. Hey, we love wrestling. numbers. Oh. Oh. oh I made a bad choice somewhere. <laughs> Wait, are you, uh, you should talk to me off screen here? <laughs> we were talking about the crown. Oh, okay. What All a right, great right. show it is. Right, don't worry, don't worry. McCray Martin loves taking his shirt off, it would seem. He's oiled up today. What's going on? Oh. It's a protective layer of blubber because That's it's right. cold outside. It is very cold. I was wearing a toque right before this. Uh, I don't know what Fahrenheit translates to Celsius, but it is uh, minus 8 Celsius right it's, now. Yeah, it's about 15 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take. Uh-oh. Very cold. Oh, some gyrating. Oh, what? Oh. Uh, oh, I thought he was backing up on him. I thought so, too, but he got that wrist. He's got wrist control. Kylon, Kylon rolling, rolling, through. rolling, Martin. head nip up. Martin getting reversed, side headlock. I think that's two. That is two headlocks today. We're off to a great start on the headlock count. Off the ropes. And, oh, whoa, man. whoa, 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 hey, hey. I'm, all right. This is not a large ring, so when you get fast guys in there, yeah. they cover ground quickly. I was going to say, he hit them real hard. Yeah. You know, there's a slight size difference, but that speed might take him down. He's going for it again. Martin stealing himself. Oh, the, the little launch, too, oh, by Waller. Oh. A great tag team. He's trying not to fall. Don't, oh, he's got the rope. He's got the rope. He's up. He's up. He's... he's Oh, okay. Was that Man Scout's rope? <laughs> it would seem so. I guess some of it was left over from the previous match, gyrating those hips improperly, might I add. That is true. It is what we teach in the first class of the keep, how to gyrate. Uh-oh, Kylon King. Psyching himself up. Oh, oh, getting the crowd involved. Let's G him up. Let's G him up. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, I, for half a second, I thought he broke his arm. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa, what a big tackle. Off the ropes. Big, oh, 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 he rolled him. Two, very close, but recovered. Ducks uh, one, ducks two. Oh. Taken down Martin is Kylon King. He's, he's going real fast. He got that speed on him. Step off the ropes, but no, it's been scouted. McCray going for that spider kick. Whoa. Oh. Still Pretty here. evenly matched. Yeah. Just random conversations happening behind us. Oh, yeah, that's what happens. Okay. That's what happens. We're a real professional brand of wrestling. Usually the random conversations happen in my headset. <laughs> so that's why I'm it makes, it's throwing T me for a loop. Typically people yell in your ear. Not here. We yell at each other. I can yell in your ear if I want. Please don't. I don't. It, it's probably nice to be away from that for a week. Here we go. 
Kick in the stomach. Dustin Tossin Jr., but Jr. reverses. Ooh. Dustin Lawler. Oh. Putting down the brakes. Tranquilo. Oh. Hey! You know, you don't see those effective. Whoa! Area code shot. What are we, 5 1 something here? Uh, this would be 8 1 9. We're very close. One number off. Here we go. Oh, Junior. Well, feet up. Here's a tag. Sidewalk. Slam! And now Junior coming over the top. Set on. Wow! And Kylon King comes in. Ooh, uh, big split, split hit yeah. us. Yeah. Oh! They're making him wait for the moon salt. Didn't get all of that, so he kicked out early. Probably expecting at least a two, if not a full three. Big chop by McCray. He's got those big hands. Junior going in. Oh, Dustin's uh -oh. caught him. Oh, he saves him with a big leaping neck breaker of some kind. There you go, zigzag, if you will. Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> Junior Benito tags in, now, what climbing. A, what a good tag team synergy here. But hey. Hey. I, they, I think this is what they think clapping cheeks is. See? Yes, if, they, if that's the case, then Eddie Kingston uh, clapped my cheeks earlier today. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what? Please, somebody, uh, ringside news, make that the headline. Here we go. Off the second rope by Junior Benito, but no! Dustin, the smarter man, pulls him. Dustin is never the smarter man. Well, in this situation, uh, he no, is. No, no. Oh! I was thinking of our Dustin. No way. <laughs> ah! What the? Oh, oh Pescado! Oh, oh, big senton! One, One, two! Oh, Kyle Joseph only gets the two count there for it. Referee, Kyle Joseph. Miracle Real generation, fast. looking uh, looking sharp here. I know, hey. Their first match in Canada. I know, oh, no, not true. They've wrestled, but their first tag match oh, in Canada. Sorry. Oh, he clapped his cheeks. He clapped his cheeks back. No, don't, I. Oh. You know, I'm not. This, this has demonetization written yeah, all over Yeah, I was going to say, is this too perverse for Twitch? Somebody quote me the rules down below. Here we go. Ooh, big jumping back elbow. Dustin Tag Waller. switch. And oh. Say hello to Brock Anderson. Oh. Brock oh. 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 Anderson. <laughs> Big Brock I, Anderson fans. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, wait, Arn. Oh, that's that. He meant Glock Anders. I see what they're saying. Ah. Uh, I was going to say our first ever Brock Anderson fan. Here comes Dustin. He's coming in. Junior fighting. Valiant effort by Junior. Fighting his way free. Giving those little tummy tucks. Oh. Hey. Listen, man. Once was okay, twice was a lot. Three but, is egregious. Yeah, too, way too much. Hey. Now here, look. I, I got a lot hey. of thoughts. Look, look. I might be too old for this joke. <laughs> this might not be my thing. What's well, the slice bread number two? Yeah, he didn't say the second part. Right, right. You just said so, sliced yeah. bread. And yeah. also, whose favorite food is sliced bread? Nobody. Yeah. I will say, Junior Benito, kind of a bland guy. Needs mac and cheese out of Ziploc bag. It's true. Cold. Oh, big knee. This, this just keeps big, getting more perverse. Big knee. Whipping across. Whoa! He's got them both. Oh, oh my God. McCray Martin's been going to the gym, picking him up. Deadlift, and now... Ah! Wow, he overhead throw. Hey, the big McCray Martin, the biggest boy in this match, and he's going to the top rope. Please, M McCray, be careful. The ceiling tiles in jeopardy. Oh, he realized he wasn't going to pull it off, oh. but he caught him. Yeah. Baby, carry, slam. What the fuck? <laughs> he spun him. This is it. Two. 
No, the oh. boss Mounty Slam only getting a two count. You know, if he had rotated one extra time, I think he would have gotten it. See how I localized that? Yeah, I liked it a lot. Thank you for the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Hey, the Mounty was don't there know. yesterday. Did you see that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, here you go. Uh oh. They do an electric chair into a cutter, their big finisher. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, it's been oh. reversed. Oh! It was scouted. It was countered. Oh, well, McRae ended up spearing his partner, Junior Bernito. He's in a tough spot. Miracle Jen. Go for the super. No, head kick. Roundhouse by Kylon. Super. Hey. Right on the money. Lawler lands Guys, his you shot. gotta stop going the top rope. Second rope. Whoa. The splash and the move. Oh, oh my god, the across face. the face. One, two, but oh. Junior Benito. Another spear, Junior Benito. Nice breakup by Junior Benito. Great timing. All four of these men coming to impress. It's a great showcase for four great young talents. Of course. All these men under 25 years old. I think under 23, to be honest, but which is even more. You can tell by what they think. <laughs> yeah, <they're laughs> oh, big forearm from Junior Benito. Oh, Dustin has got that super kick down. He's going for a spinning. Oh, nice break counter. down punch. And Not today, says went, Kylan. Went to the well, wants to offer oh! Junior swinging for the fences. The big boy, Junior Benito with the clothesline. Oh, Junior. Gene up what the crowd. What are you going to do, Junior? Oh, my. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he, almost hit the, he almost hit the roof upside down. Oh, Oh, I got scared there. I did too. If you freeze frame that, he's literally walking on the ceiling. McCray, stop going to the top. Oh my God. <laughs> Cross body. Oh, cutter, no. cutter. Spanish. Oh! Delayed Spanish fly from the second rope. What is this? Uh. Well, that's a concussion for sure. Off the ropes, handspring, Kylon! Injection. Oh, they're not done. Kylon King, Sherman. Whoa! Junior, enough fortitude to pull that off. I can't and believe Dustin it. was hanging on the rope, too. He was. Come on, Kyle, you're not, you're not supposed to let that happen. Are you watching another Twitch channel while you do this? No, I <laughs> just realized I never told people this match was happening. Oh, I'm a great host. You are a multitasking miracle. It's true. He's terrible at it, though. Now. Oh, they're going. Uh, yeah, Junior's in trouble. McCray Martin avoids contact, and now McCray off the rope. Oh, spider kick off the rope. What's Junior? Going to do in this position. Well, oh, DDT. Oh, my nice God. counter there by Kylon King. But Junior. Junior up to the top. Kylon King. No. Oh, he rolls through. Pop. Big up. pop bomb. Oh, my God, Junior. Big pop up power bomb. That's how I like to follow a power bomb with a body slam off the ropes. Handspring. Not today. Oh, up onto the shoulders. Oh, he caught him. He's bounced off. The illegal man, Junior. One, oh. two. Three! Fresh air! With Terry Gross! Your winners! Fresh air from right here in Gatineau, Quebec, Canada. My boys! Still do not know what clapping them cheeks mean. Sorry, I got a little runny nose because it's cold. It's very cool. I, you know, I can't do anything about it, and it bothers me. Oh yeah, fresh air. There he is. I don't know what they're. they're I think they're clapping cheeks on the top rope. Maybe I'm not quite sure. Maybe you think clapping cheeks is like, oh, no, I, like a little baby. You know, like that's what they think for sure. In fact, I'm not quite sure either of these men have had sex yet. On that, and a shot of McCray Martin's underwear. That was match.
match number three of Mystery Wrestling 5. We're having a lot of fun today. This has been tremendous fun. Thank and you. And we still got more to come. There's a lot more to come. Uh, and you know, we do a lot of weird things here on Mystery Wrestling. Sometimes we have the best tag team wrestlers in the world. Sometimes we fight in Campfire Rules Match. All you gotta do is keep watching it and you'll see much more surprises coming right up. Do we have another Campfire Rules match coming? Unfortunately, I cannot tell you that. Oh, because it's a mystery. Ex exactly. You know, this could be six Campfire <laughs> match rules. Anyways, shall we go to match number four? Our next match is a one-on-one -on -one match. Ooh, a singles Referee match. Louis Gray actually uh, performed in a death match on Mystery Wrestling 3, um, but was not the victor. And now as a result, has to referee this match? Well, he was a referee oh, then, okay. too. It was two referees that fought, but... Oh, I saw that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is number one? Oh! It's the scrapper, James Stone, another local professional wrestler from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Very, very self-centered individual. Loves himself. No one else seems to, though. But, but also a, a heavy hitter. A very, very heavy hitter. One of the very best strikers in Canada right now. I don't agree with his terrible pants, though. Why is he? Why is he pointing at me? Because you disagree with his terrible pants. I guess so. I guess so. And his opponent tonight, who shall it be? We'll find out. What was that? I don't know. I saw it too, though. That was cool. Oh, oh, this is ominous. This is some ominous music, my friends. Don't forget to tweet the match. Yeah, don't forget to tweet the match, Uno. Hey, don't you tell me what to do. <laughs> He's just relaying a message. No! It's Eddie Kingston! Eddie Kingston has had a hell of a 72 hours. It would seem so. He just came back from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. On the C2 Classic, defeated Claudio Castagnoli, and then, well, this match has not aired yet, but had a Ring of Honor match as well. I can't tell you against who. What are you looking at me for? You're looking at me. You want your money. You want your money? <laughs> not yet. I'll pay you after Eddie Kingston. What a fool. What a fool, Eddie Kingston. The Claudio match hasn't aired yet either. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, Well, yeah. sorry, I can't say anything about that. We're good. First, he thinks James Stone is the rudest person he's dying to win. Okay, hey, it's true. It's true. Uh, yeah, we know. We know. Backstory of this match that I will explain right after this. And I don't know if you noticed, but Eddie Kingston all bruised up on his back and shoulders, too. Yes. He's been through a lot this week. His opponent, his new motto is fuck Eddie Kingston. Wow, okay. Wow, good. All right. wow. We're really going to do this now, huh? Strapper, James Stone! James Stone, Eddie I, Kingston. This is going to be a slugfest. It will be a slugfest. We're talking about two of the heaviest hitters that I could find on short notice. <laughs> um, here's a little backstory to this. Uh, Eddie Kingston and James Stone have actually met before. Uh, we do our charity wrestling event every single year, wrestling with cancer, uh, fighting back wrestling with cancer. And Eddie Kingston was our guest last year. Much later, after the events, we all went out to supper together, and instead of waiting for everyone to eat, James Stone decided to eat his meal before everyone else, and Eddie Kingston has hated him ever since. I mean, that's a serious breach of etiquette. It is. One time, James Stone came to my house, put his dirty boots on my couch. I also hate him. That's a real uh, Rick James situation. It's, he, he does. Well, I can't. Well, no, we can. He fucked my couch. 
<laughs> That's not actually what happened. No, he just, no, he just it, meant like f your couch. Yeah, like, see, I don't at, care f, about it. Like, in a bad way. In yeah, a bad yeah, way. Yeah. Not not in a sexual way. Yeah, he, he didn't clap the cushions. He did not clap the cheeks of the cushions. Oh, just scaring him. Just scaring him. Hey, Gatineau, Quebec. Nice coming Loves out, Eddie Eddie Kingston. Sister city to Yonkers, New York, as well as Wolverhampton, England. Oh, okay. Stone putting on the brakes. That, that. I know, I understand, Eddie. He's quite rude, I get it. He keeps doing this money symbol at me. I was on oh, because he's part of the FBI. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie Kingston, Tracy Smothers. That's right. Bill Guido, yeah. Wildfire Tommy I Rich. Mean, Honorary member for sure. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, he, he's. <laughs> that, I don't even know how to comment on that one. <laughs> All right, let's get down to business, gents. All right, they're going for a grapple here. Log Here's another headlock. Number three. Number three of the night. Mark it down. This one seems like the most effective. Get uh -oh. him to his knees. Oh. Kingston got that tight grip on Stone. Back vertical off the ropes. Big tackle. Kingston laid his shoulder in and up. Oh! Stone comes back. Oh. They nice love those leg drops today. He's got the wrist. Wrenching the arm of Kingston and now oh. continuing to wrench the arm. Whoa! Winding I, it up. Whoa! Shoulders can do that? Whoa! Five, six, seven. That is the wackiest arm I've ever seen. Off the ropes! And by ropes, I mean the, the Northern Light. <laughs> I don't know what I was going for there. <laughs> it's okay, James Stone. In control. In control. As my nephew would say, Eddie Kingston, he has silly arms. He does. He does. <laughs> James Stone has silly brains. Oh, here we go. <laughs> there we go. There's off the ropes. It's been reversed. Oh, Kingston. Oh, First of many. Hitting them. No, Stone. Oh. That one caught him high on the throat. Oh. 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 That oh. clothesline right that under the a, chin. That was a gnarly landing, too. Oh, we're going outside. Please do not break my stuff. If you come here, Eddie Kings, I will kill you. I, I, I'm almost guaranteed he will. That's the worst part of it all. Oh, you mean the part where there's only a small Yeah, I told camera. everyone to stay away, which means he will definitely try. Big chops from both men. Ooh, headbutt from Eddie Kingston. Oh, they're going around the oh. ring. Oh, another headbutt. Kingston and Stone. Trailing. Getting dirty here. Getting dirty, trailing around. No, don't do it. Right in front of that man who seems unimpressed. You know, he's seen harder hits, it would seem. Well, he is a Quebecois. It's true. He's seen a lot in his day. He's probably hit harder than that. You know, he's seen Jacques Rougeau do much worse. Well, here we go. Yeah, like wrestle a match. <laughs> Here that we go. Was, that was unfair. I'm <laughs> sorry, Jacques. Hey, I'm sorry, Jacques. <laughs> sorry, Jacques. You're just catching strays because we're we're having fun here. We're, we're just having some fun. Is James still going to What are you doing? What? what the heck are you? He's got an innocent Be bystander. Be careful, there's posts. <laughs> oh, no. Now we're getting sued. I'm not. No, James. No, I don't! <laughs> well, uh, this is the last mystery wrestling you'll ever see. Here we go. Back in the ring. Uh, you're right. That's a great point. That's a great point. What's Mark Sterling doing? Uh, I have no idea. Who's he managing nowadays? Seven guys, right? Seven guys? The, the group from New Japan? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> This, the fans still do not like James. Big chop. Oh, right in the nipple. Uh -oh, oh, he's going to pay for that. Oh, right in the neck. Oh, Ooh, that was my a... God. Okay, oh, well, no. hey, guys. Oh, he got him right in the eye. 
Hey, this is what happens when you eat first and there's 20 people waiting for their meals. Neckbreaker from James Stone. Big pin. One, two. Eddie Kingston will not take the disrespect. James Stone just cinching in that headlock. And I mean, you know what? That was an impolite neckbreaker. It was a very impolite neckbreaker. Oh, they have James Stone trying to get a me chant. Not working for him. Yeah, Gatno has chosen their side. They have. Side rushing leg sweep loves Bret Hart. Here we go. One, two. I love how you had to, to put that caveat on there. He's just under rushing leg sweep because he likes it. No, no, no. It's definitely a Bret Hart thing. Can Although, you know, he didn't do the stomach punch first, so maybe you're right. Do Canadians like Bret Hart? They love him. What? <laughs> what about Guy Lafleur? I don't know who that oh, is. come on! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know who that is. I'm just doing it for the bits. He's got <laughs> such a tough name. It means the lion. <laughs> what? <laughs> it, means, it was a Bob and Doug McKenzie commercial. Come on, guys. All right. Back in the corner. They're fighting. James Stone just trying something. I don't know what he's going for. He rocked him. Rocked him with that right hand. He's got another right. one. He's shake rattling, and maybe he will roll. A lot of Honky Tonk Man fans here in Canada. Then we love him and Bret Hart only. Oh! Oh! That is not a game James Stone wants to nope, play nope, with, nope. Eddie. Oh, woof. Sweet Jesus. Oh! Smartest thing Stone could have done. Drop toe hole, and he's just grinding him down. Punch him in the neck. Those are heavy shots in the back That's of the head. Right. Kingston trying to turtle up. He's mounted him backwards. Kingston trying to turtle up, trying to protect himself from more blows. James Stone. Trying to get some speed. Oh! Closing that distance. Great acceleration by Stone. Coming into the corner again, Kingston. Uh-oh. Stone overcommitted. Kingston making him pay. Oh! Oh, it finally happened! That's what you get, my friend, for getting your boots on my couch, Exploder! Rough ride for James Stone, cover by Kingston. Oh, Jun Akiyama's Exploder does not do it. That was Eddie Kingston's Exploder. Well, I mean, he's in tribute to Jun Akiyama. I know, yeah, but, but I mean, Eddie Kingston was the guy doing it. That is true. That's a good point. Hey, I'm sorry, Jun Akiyama, you were right. I don't know what, Eddie, he keeps seem, he's seemingly threatening me from afar. You know, oh, Erkin misses, Stone. Lefts and rights, back elbow. Stone coming in, high boot, backs Kingston into the ropes, kick to the midsection. So DDT! This could be it. Eddie has been through a lot this week, too. Oh! Oh, he just barely got that shoulder up. You know, interestingly enough, James Stone slept on your couch, got his boots on there. Eddie Kingston slept on my dad's couch, took his shoes off before he laid hey, down. A polite man, a very respectful man, especially when we're talking about parents. May not be respectful to other people, but at least the parents he does. Eddie Kingston. Whipping it off the ropes. Reverses. No. Oh. And Sambo! Nice. Kingston with the chance Ooh. with James Stone still in this one. Eddie Kingston's got his working boots on tonight. He just hit his exploder. He just hit the Sambo. He's pulling everything out of his arsenal to take James Stone down. Stone slow to rise, understandably so. Kingston thinking Hurricane again. Ooh. Nice counter. Stopped him. Brute force by James Stone. Oh, he's going for an exploder this time. No. And oh, nice. STO! Trip and two. Kingston oh. able to kick out. Kingston just barely getting that shoulder up. He is exhausted. Getting picked up. James Stone, no for his Death Valley driver. Hear it. Oh, oh. Jesus. Stone's got it, and oh! oh! James Stone so using a rope break. I know. Hey, he got, he dropped him right on his dome. I could completely understand not having the strength to kick out of that there. On the car ride here, we actually asked Eddie, "When's the last time you wrestled three days in a row?" And he said, "Not in, not since the G1 climax earlier this year." Oh my God! Oh, uh -oh. going for a gotch. He's got that groin tight. 
He's picking him up though. Oh, reverse. Oh. One, two. Stone Eye stack and oh. Kingston breaks free. Oh. Oh! The oh. second one two. connects. Oh! A two year again does it! up here between James Stone and Eddie Kingston, your victor, the Mad King, Eddie Kingston. Great effort by James Stone. Hey. He stood toe to toe with Eddie Kingston right up until the bitter end. Hey, that, we're talking about a multiple champion right now. You know, he may not have won, but standing toe to toe with him is a huge feat, so kudos to you, James Stone. Eddie Kingston bringing the Gatineau Thunderdomes to their feet. That's right. All 22,000 fans going crazy. Mystery Wrestling's pretty fun. Say what? Mystery Wrestling's pretty it's fun. Very fun. Yeah. It's very fun. And the best part of all, it's short too. We will, you, I don't get, I'm not taking this for granted. You won't have to be here for four hours. Doesn't overstay as well. That's right. We like to get in and we like to get out and we like to do it quick. That was match number four of Mystery Wrestling 5. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey. Whoa. We get to, we, we'll talk about that off screen. Whoa. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And we're going into our new, our next match very, very soon. But if you would like to support, there's a hype chain right now. Drop your bitch, drop your subs. That is the best way you can support us. Also, patreon.com slash mystery wrestling. Get the previous show, get this show. This is all fan supported. Of course, it comes out of my pocket, but to make it even, it comes out of yours. So if you appreciate what we're doing, please give it a follow at the very least. That's the cheapest thing you can do, or at least tweet about it using hashtag mystery wrestling five. All right, with that. Hey, it's Bryce. Hey, Bryce Resper back in the ring. That would mean we're in for match number five. Like mystery wrestling five. Hey, good job. Good job. Thank you. Hey. It's, 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 it's almost like I do this for a living. <laughs> International Princess. Whoa. Damn, Uno. I thought. Yep. Oh, that was Cutler. Just the, it's got no Cutler. <laughs> you thought it was the real one, right? <laughs> from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the wild child. She's crazy. She's insane. She's wild. Used to be a skate used to be a skateboarder. Honestly, one of the toughest women I know. And she didn't stay at the top of the ramp and menace people with snaps. No. And of course, we've already unveiled it. It's the TGPW International Princess Champion, of course. Max! They are the Max! Impaler. Max the Impaler, Tokyo Joshi Pro, International Princess Champion, Jody Threat, one-on-one, -on -one, Mystery Wrestling 5. It is happening, it is happening right here in Gatineau, Quebec, Canada, and I can tell you this with 100% certainty, I haven't looked this up, but I'm pretty certain the first ever Tokyo Joshi Pro Championship defended here in Gatineau. Probably, probably. You know what? That's Excalibur's lock of the week. <laughs> hey, anything in Happy Mystery Wrestling, including other people's championships, can be defended. This is for the TJPW International Princess Championship. First, from Toronto, Ontario, weighing at 155 pounds of wildness. The wild child! I, that's what I was saying. Johnny that doesn't care for her knees, just jumping right on I them, miss. huh? I couldn't do that anymore. I'm done. I stepped on a patch of ice earlier today. Oof. That's all it takes. Weighing at 240 pounds of radiated 
muscle. Whoa. They are the TJPW International Princess Champion, Max the Impaler. Max the Impaler has been completely dominating in Tokyo Joshi Pro. Can she do? Can they do the same here? in Mystery Wrestling. And speaking of Tokyo Joshi Pro, before this match starts, want to give a special shout out. Yuka Sakazaki, one of, I think, everybody's favorites. Love the magic girl. Uh, had her uh, her TJPW graduation this past week. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh. So. That is both a, a happy and a sad day, but <laughs> hey, congratulations to her. Hey, where's my money, dog? Oh my God, come on. I gotta get out of here, man. You know what I mean? Where's my scrap? Uh, what, what do you gotta yo, do? Yo, monkey, tell me where's my scrap. You know what I gotta do. I gotta go home. You gotta see a man about a horse? Okay, yeah, hey. Yeah. Uh, about a bridge. Go off screen, ask <laughs> my wife. Ask my wife. No, she's not, come on. Okay, this is the this is a very important. Tokyo right, Joshi the Pro. Got okay. The got it. All right, cool. Thank you, appreciate hey, it. guys, I'm out. <laughs> Jesus <Thank> Christ. <laughs> All right, uh, back to our scheduled Tokyo Joshi Pro Championship match. Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Kingston. That's right. I hate that guy. I gotta grab my finger right here, <laughs> I swear. All right, Jody Threat, Maxi Impaler. One on one, man. Well, Collar, Collar elbow type attempted by uh, Jody Threat. Max. Max does not seem impressed at all. Now, hey, side headlock. Hey, that's number four. Number four for the side headlock. Max, standing tall, though, can barely be moved. Jody trying to hip toss. <laughs> Max, with 200 some odd pounds of irradiated muscle. Max seems confused, to be honest. Backslide. Not really. Max being smart, just not handing that other arm. Oh, Max, grip on Jody's throat. Oh, Jody is oh. second guessing what she'll do next. Max stands their ground. Jody sent in, puts on the brakes. There's, I don't know. Jody, I don't think this will work. Ma great. Max has barely moved. Off the ropes. Boom! Oh. Max lowers her shoulder. Jody Threat goes down. This is this, like a, a, a late stage Abdullah the Butcher match where Abdullah just stands in the center of the ring and yeah. everybody just runs at him. If we were talking really late stage, he wouldn't even enter the ring. <laughs> I was present for many of those. Here we go. Max likes to do this. It's a press slam! Oh, Jody Threat. Oh my god, so strong! Jody Threat in trouble. Oh, oh, I maybe oh. not. Oh, Jody, putting that sleeper hold on. Now Max back Jody up to the corner. Oh, Max has figured out. Max. Jody's on that second. Uh oh, Jody. Oh, her trying to out of the corner from yeah. Jody Threat. Nice counter by Jody. Oh, low drop kick into the midsection of Max. Much like King Hippo, that is the weak spot. Here we go. Clothesline in the corner, number two. Jody coming in. The third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Oh, shit. Hey, this is a lot. Nine. Are we doing clotheslines too? 11, 12, 13. She is getting tired. She's going for the big one, though. Oh, wow. <laughs> big body block. Max says, you know, this could be easy work for Max the Impaler. As I said, they have uh, completely decimated everyone beforehand. Yeah, uh, since Max landed in Tokyo Joshi Pro, it's just been a complete upheaval. It's been practically one-sided at all times. Here's Jody trying to hit the King Hippo spot, but that is not working yes. anymore. It's the axe, the bandage on the belly button. That's right. It hasn't been revealed, it would seem. Oh, sh oof. Hey, for uh, the 14 clotheslines that Jody did, oh, Max only needs two. Yeah, Max. Three. The, we're She's at, clubbing. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, Max, going 14 on their right own. On her ass. Beat her down. Max bringing Jody back up to a vertical position. Now vertical. No, not even. Oh. Just a toss. Like a bag of rock salt. Oh my God! Senton cover. Let me see how I localize it. Bag of rock salt. Yeah, yeah. yeah thanks, dude. Hey, man. I appreciate it. You know, that's one of the things I can understand. 
Yeah, you, you, got a, you got a slippery walkway. That's right. <laughs> I seriously think I tore my meniscus stepping up. You think so? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> it's a good way to go. There are worse ways. Retour. Re oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. Previous injury. Uh oh, Jody back up to their to her feet. And oh, oh, Max. One club to the back. That's all it took from Max, the impaler. This matchup seems a little uneven. It is. It might be uneven, but you know what? Jody, Jody has. Well, so Jody's got that skateboarder toughness, like that that never say die Goonies type of. Well, Jody might just say die right now. No! Oh! Oh! Counter. Oh! Uh, ah! <laughs> Is she alive? Yeah, she's okay. All right. I thought she was dead. That's a lot of weight to go crashing on your chest. But, like, Jody's got that skateboarder mentality. I mean, you know the story about Darby breaking both of his legs? Oh, yeah. And then sitting on a skateboard and, and wheeling himself to the hospital? That's, like, Jody's got that same, same mindset, that same toughness. I've seen Jody jump off high spots. I've seen her do half oh, pipes. Stunner. Oh, convenient. Was figured it, a word? it out. Say again. Was that a word? I said convenient. Oh, okay. But I was gonna, I was gonna say more. But you know, I'm not a professional. So here we go off the second rope from I'll Jody. Say. Go for the oh! tornado. DDT. Max goes down. Jody with an opportunity here. You know who loves Bryce Ramsworth's counting? No, who? Tony Schiavone. Really? Oh, he counts along. He does like the. He's, uh, he's an excited individual, for sure. Wow. That's for you, Shivani. You know, his arms don't go as high as you would think they would. They go about here, which is kind of cool. He's got his oh, own thing going he on. He wants to stay in frame. He's a fresh. Oh, he's smart. He's smart, too. Oh, Jody. Jody going for it. Pushed off the ropes. Clothesline. Max still unaffected. Jody coming in. Max just absorbing all this contact. Max swinging a miss. Uh oh, kicking low. Jody. Oh! oh boot the side of the jaw. Max goes down. Could it be the eight ones? Nine. Oh! No, no just a double knee to the back. What's oh half? my God. Can she pick up Max? Now Max puts their elbow to the jaw of Jody Threat. Now. There we go. Jody charges! Oh! Spear! One. Two! Oh, you know how you can tell she's from Toronto? How? The spear. And the way they land, of course. Of course. Everyone in Ontario lands on their knees when they spear people. It's just the way we know to do it. Like a like a proud Argonaut. Oh! Max. From America! A real spear! That's how you do it, Max! <laughs> I'm sorry. That was too loud. <laughs> no, no, that's that's the beauty of Mystery Wrestling. Sometimes the commentary is too much. <laughs> Max the Impeller trying to get up. A little dazed from that spear earlier. Max, you can see, very protective. Whoa! Misses the senton. Very smart by Jody. Jody, quick roll to avoid the senton. And now... Jody was looking for this earlier. Oh, backslide from heaven, maybe. Can she get it? No, Max oh breaks free. Great way to tear your rotator cuff. Oh, off the ropes. Oh, Slum blower. Still, Max is standing. Dropkick sends Max spilling to the outside. Hey, I told you she jumps from high spaces. This could be what she goes for. Oh, Jody's going off the ropes. Max barely on their feet. Jody accelerates and choke. Oh, no, Max. Uh -oh. oh, my God. Good night, Jody Threat. Good I'm, night. Well, this looks like it's going to be on the apron. Jesus. Oh, 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 God. Okay. Well, I, uh, I can tell you this. I would not be getting back up after that. Hey, Canadian healthcare, baby. Yes, I do appreciate my free health care. And I bet Jody does too. Uh, of course. I, I don't understand anyone who skateboards in America. It's just terrifying. I, I can't help you there, buddy. Uh, hey, it's not a health care podcast. We're talking pro wrestling, mystery wrestling, five. Price is up to nine. Jody oh. beats the count, but Max. Oh, Max with the spear. This could be it. One, I two. And no. Oh, wow. Even I'm surprised. Jody threat. Oh, 
Whoa! Max was trying to eat Bryce there, I Bryce think. Bryce is going to need some of that great American health care. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Do you like paying $800 for an aspirin? <laughs> well, it's that or you wait 16 hours to see a doctor. And hey, I'd you know rather what? wait 16 hours, I'll say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, oh, no. They want tables. They want tables? Well, that's oh, you know what? Go to a fucking banquet hall. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we didn't have the budget for tables, but I'll tell you what. We had the budget for uh, for something else, and that's a door. Now, sometime in professional wrestling, the cost of a door, like the ebbs and the flows, yes. significantly cheaper than a table. You know, if you want to talk about the inner uh, workings of pro wrestling, that thing costs $32. Canadian? And a, Canadian, and a door. That's like 16 bucks American. Yeah, and, uh, and a table costs $89. What? Right. And that's why you do not see tables in pro wrestling anymore. And sometimes you don't see water bottles either. There you go, I told you. We buy them every time. Oh, Jody! Oh, oh package! Package one! Max breaks free. Jody. Bryce, try not to fall into that table. That's a door, technically speaking. Oh, sorry, that is true. Oh, Jody! Oh, no, Max puts on their brakes. Max picks up, but no, Jody! Go. Fights back! Go. Oh! Go. Whoa! What a suplex! What a counter! Jody threat! Giving it her all, all of her strength. Say Oliver like the Charles no. Dickens. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> well, there goes my closet door. The Back wardrobe up. of Evil Uno will never be the same. Oh, Max. Uh, uh, Max is not done. Not done. Oh, oh. wait, Jody. Oh, Jody with the backslide from Ahmed. What? She can be a new champion, but no. Jody got up on her tippy toes. Max barely kicking out. So resilient. Oh, go for that clothesline. Oh, oh. comebacker. Left heart. Two, three. Oh. Meat hook right to the face. And still, he's Tough as nails. Hey, survived a spear through a door and still went for it. Fought valiantly, but did not win the Tokyo Joshi Pro International Princess Championship. Congratulations, Max. The Impaler making the first defense of the TJPW International Princess Championship in Gatineau. I mean, you know what? Maybe the first defense in the entire province of Quebec. I, it, maybe even Canada, to be honest. Actually, yeah. that, uh, that might be a little tough to yeah. pull off, yeah. You know, I'm not sure about that one. That is not an Excalibur lock at all. We're going to let our stagehands clean up the debris in the ring, but... Now, if there was ever a time for Eddie Kingston to come interrupt and filibuster, this would have been it. it would have been when somebody has to clean stuff up. And I don't know if you know this uh, uh, about Eddie Kingston. He's got shit timing. Shit timing. <laughs> Very considerate of my time. Uh, or of this show, uh, I'm, I'm glad they paid him and he's gone. No. Yeah. Eddie Kingston, back to his homeland of Yonkers, New York. Already. It's a short flight, actually. It's, it's actually very quick. Yeah, we got him a private jet and everything. What? He asks for a lot. A you, real diva, that Eddie you, Kingston. You got the, you got the, you fueled up the solar-powered helicopter? I did. I did. It took months to do. There's yeah, not a lot of sun there. very overcast here. <laughs> All right. Are saying that your smile is beautiful. Udo's? Mine? No, yours. Oh, Excalibur smile. Oh, I agree. What a beautiful oh, smile you thank have. Thank you, people in chat. Hey. I mean, I don't know. I've just been on national television for four your, fucking years, but I see like. your mask blushing. Uh. <laughs> can can somebody take a screenshot and then do like the the blooming emoji and then hey. make that a chat emote? Uh, with Bryce Remberg's behind us, it means it's time. It's time. <laughs> Hello, Bryce. Is this now? It is right now. We're all hey, live. Do the, do the Mark Henry. Do the Mark Henry. It's time. What's the, what's the It is. Oh, fuck. For uh, the next what? match. <laughs> uh, close enough. It's time for the main event. Hey, first try. 
Yeah, I'm a real pro. You, real professional. Hey, Mark Henry, I have a job. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Main event. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. The referee, Serge Sandini. That's a French sounding yes. name. But that's the baddest pro wrestling referee in the world. Winner of the street fight a few shows ago. Who is opponent number one? Oh. It's Psycho Mike. Psycho Mike Rollins from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. One of the mainstays here in Mystery Wrestling. I don't know what to say about Psycho Mike other than he is crazy, unorthodox, and loves the body slam. I mean, you would think the name Psycho Mike imparts all of that. It, but... does, it says everything right away, yes, of course. So this is our main event. This is our main event of the evening. All right, this is exciting because... It's, oh, I know man, we're running long. I know we're, we're running we're slightly running too long. And his opponent for the night. Hell yeah. I love this song. This is this is some royalty free Anthony Bourdain no reservations music. Oh. <laughs> Freshly squeezed, Orange Cassidy! I thought Anthony Bourdain was visiting a cafe in Santiago, Chile. Instead, Orange Cassidy is in Gatineau, Quebec, Canada. That is right. Also, probably his first time here. It's hard to tell. He is not a man of many words. I tried to interview him before today. Trying to get info on this match. Where are you going? And uh, he gave me nothing, nothing in return. So I couldn't, I couldn't find out if this is his first time here. So I'm just gonna claim it. His first ever time in Gatineau. Also, hey, this part of Quebec is, it is. Like French AF. It is. It's like, like no, no bilingual signs. This is. This is a one-on-one. There is none at all. It's actually kind of the rules here in Quebec. No, no, but like Montreal is more. Oh, way more, way more. Psycho Mike! Here it is, Psycho hey. Mike. His opponent, fun fact, whatever. Freshly <laughs> squeeze! Orange I told you! Cassidy! I told you, a man of very few words. You know, I heard he almost visited a PFK this afternoon. Really? Yes. He, I did not know he was into... By the way, that's KFC here in, in French Canada. Wait. Oh. Uh-oh. Got some news from the doctor earlier today. Oh, no. Is it that I need a refill? And unfortunately... Today's going to be my final match. Oh. Whoa. Well, let me finish. Oh, okay, okay. That's a baby face. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to record. <laughs> it's been very difficult to deal with, but I've been diagnosed with a very, very rare condition called being a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, Eddie Kingston also yeah. diagnosed oh, yeah, with that, just... yes. Chronic sufferer of that. Do anything outlandish, anything unacceptable. I can't help it. I'm a piece of shit, and it's a medical condition. Hey, you can't blame him if it's a medical condition, of course. Uh, what's Kingston's excuse? I don't know. How about James Stone's excuse? I don't think James Stone was diagnosed at all, so. He's got the doctor's okay, notes, so we're good. Well, he's gave the doctor note to the referee. It must be true. I mean, Canadian healthcare at its finest, folks. That's right. He waited 17 hours for that diagnosis, but he got it for free. Oh. Our main event tonight, Psycho Mike versus Freshly Squeezed oh. Orange Cassie. Thank you very much. I'm going legit. to verify it. That seems legit. 
The signature looks legit. It does say Psycho Mike has a medical condition. I was going to say, is this written in French? But no, it's just poor handwriting. Yeah. And then it just says, piece of uh -oh. shit. Oh. See it. Bring it there. Oh no, they can see it. We're good. <laughs> oh. Or Cassie maybe bitten off more than he could chew here. Oh, cannot get to any of those ropes. And especially with the the 16 foot ring. Oh, uh, he's rolling. Oh, there, uh -oh. big reversal. 16 feet and meters. Oh, man, I wish I could tell you that, but I don't know. Chat, I don't know how to translate it. Chat wants to know if Christian Cage has the same diagnosis. Mm, I, I, would, I would say he has a much worse diagnosis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Orange Cassie down. Christian Cage. Oh. Two. Psycho Orange. Mike looking dead on in the hard cam. <sighs> He is, he's not broken contact yet. He's, he's just going. He's, he's. Oh, what, that, what about the tenacity of Orange Cassidy? <laughs> what, in, what professional wrestling we are seeing right now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh I thought shit. that was it. I thought that was it. I thought that was going to be all of it for sure. The referee's going to have a heart attack. Oh, there he is. He's connected with that hard cam. That's where he draws his strength. Also, Christian Cage has a terminal case of piece of shitism. He's going. He's sticking out his tongue, so you know he's a bad boy now. It's almost like Psycho Mike listened to Evil Uno's pre-show speech. He's trying to get a wrist, but he's trying to not. What if he looked at a monitor? How would he do it? Uh oh. Uh -oh. True. I learned that in TV as well. Off the ropes. Clothesline. Oh! Ran the bread basket. Spicy drop kick to the midsection by hey. OC. And then he looked right at hard cam. Or should I say, an all dressed drop kick? Yes. Hey, we have the best chips in the world. If you have not had all dressed, hey, you should. All dressed Doritos. Frito Lay, come at me, bro. Because I have not been able to find them this trip. Oh, well, you know what? Let's try it. Right after this, we'll go, we'll go, wait. We're in the middle of something serious here. Uh, we went to the IGA, we went to the pharmacy. Uh, you should try pharmacy. La, La Flamme. La Flamme, just around the corner, might have it. I mean, they're, they're doing their bullshit. We went to like the organic grocery yeah. mart and they didn't have it, but, oh, you know what? I did get, uh, it was a Quebec beef uh, charcuterie plate. Yeah. It had garlic, uh, garlic salami, spicy salami, and pepper salami. Whoa. Incredible, right, yeah. incredible. Are they done? Oh, they're done doing it. <laughs> anyway, uh, the petite fromage, mm -hmm. great. Loved it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. hey, we're right back at it. Orange Cassidy slamming heads. Oh, he's, there's a lot of counting going on. And they're counting in English. Surprising for Gatineau. Well, you know, we probably should Wait, do it in French. Count it out. Oh, Psycho Mike's about to get counted out. Oh, he stopped. Oh, he the, he was just stopping the, the count. count. Oh, they're gonna! Oh, not the post! Oh, what a bad boy! <laughs> uh, give him some tokens hey. or chips or whatever yeah, they have. He's just shit talking Waldo in the chat. Waldo, drop some subs, please. Thank you. One, two, big kick out. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, if we could find them in Walmart or Metro, it would seem. Get those all dressed. He's just booting them in the shoulder repeatedly. Oh, Psycho Mike, oh. not done yet. 
Orange Cassidy getting a beating here. You know, another individual that had to do a lot this week. He might be out of gas. This could be it. He's stomping the energy right out of him. On his last, last ditch effort, last thread is Orange Cassidy. He'll be wrestling this Friday night on Rampage. Yeah. Oh. oh! The ref just got paid to change the rules. It's now a 10 count. And he gave him American money, too. So the exchange rate really working in Psycho oh, yeah, Mike's yeah. favor. Imagine if he gave him a euro. Oh, oh my gosh. That's 2.2 Canadian dollars oh, per dollar. Get out per of dollar. Get out of here. Yeah. That's a lot of money to me. A lot of exchange rate talk tonight. Hey. hey that's yeah, all that's, we that's talk about. Life. That's, that's literally life. all we talk about. Oh. Oh, he's turning him so that he can do this. Do you want to see a body slam, Excalibur? I would love to see a body slam. Oh, oh he's a piece of shit. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. How far up? <laughs> oh. Burn. <laughs> Sick burn, Dumb dude. Ass. Oh, Orange Cassidy going far. Orange Cassidy, a smarter man than you would think. What about Orange Cassidy makes you think he isn't smart? I mean, he doesn't speak a whole lot, so you. I just assume. You're quiet. You're probably hiding in the fact that you might be stupid. But he's very well-to-do. That is true. He shows up to the arena in a Bugatti Veyron in every city we're in. I've seen him read a whole book in a day. I can't do that. A real anti-Colt Cabana type. Oh! oh! Right into the feet. The educated feet. He's, uh, <laughs> he's going back. Oh, Psycho Mike, don't do it. <laughs> Psycho Mike, what are you doing? Don't do it, Mike. Michael. Michael, stop it. Stop. Mike, no! God damn it! He stopped it! He's smart. He's back rolling him. Oh, pump kick! Oh, wow. Oh, here it is! Oh. It's... Very effective kicks. Oh, 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 combo. oh, the Tajiri combo, going up, going down, so, right on the butt. Oh, no. Psycho Mike reverses, Cassie reverses, Psycho Mike reverses. Waste lock, waste lock, waste lock, waste lock, waste lock, waste lock. I am getting vertigo. Waste lock. What could be next? Oh! No! No! Michael, you piece of shit! Not rip like cord! Ah! <laughs> the rip cord low blow! He's gonna pick him up, it's over! No! Oh, he's pinned oh. him. This is it. This you is it. Send another psycho. referee! One, two, oh! 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 What are you doing? I, my referee budget is low today. Oh, is this another? Oh, no, oh not my another God. one. Not another, another one. Oh, God. The cover, the leg is hooked. It's absolutely one, over. Two, Here comes another three, referee. The four. One, two. Oh. Oh. Mike, you piece of shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it's another body slip. Oh my God, this is it. Set. I don't know. Do we have other refs? We got another ref. It's Brian Renda. We hit that guy. Two. No. No. You know what? If you headbutt him, I'm cool with it. There it is. He's How many referees are in the province of Quebec? We uh maybe eight uh -oh. total. 
Well, we are running on fumes here. There's half of them in this. It's thing. another body slam! It's all. Oh. oh my god! Oh, he's got him! He's got him deep with that one! We've got another ref! One, two! No. This is incredible! Don't do it, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> There's five refs down in the ring. And Their budget is shot to shit. It's true. Here comes the sixth body slam. I'm not even sure what we have left. Oh, God. There it is. I don't think we have other refs. Oh, the legs are crossed. Cassidy. Is that pro? Oh, okay. I got one. One. It's a body slam! <laughs> it's, all right. Oh, he's crossed his arms! Oh, no. That's it! Big take! The Big arms take. are crossed! Here goes Bryce! <laughs> Bryce Ramsberg! Kick out at two! Oh, 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 my. Oh. <laughs> oh, Bryce the Smarter Man! Oh, the Smarter Man! Oh, oh it's it's a body slam! <laughs> One, two, three! Good, serious pro wrestling. The mystery wrestling budget on referees shot until 2025. That's I it. Take out a third mortgage. I don't know if I can afford another. Can we do that? Can we do three so. mortgages? <laughs> there you have it, your main event. A lot of casualties, but your winner, Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy. Oh, wait. Oh. Psycho Mike. Ah, hey. Mike doesn't realize where he is, what's happened, but. Oh, oh no! 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 What a piece of shit! He can't help it, you know. He just can't help it. You're made of it. It was, I honestly was a disaster. <laughs> a lot of bodies, and a I'm... lot of bodies. Well, friends, there you have it. That was Mystery Wrestling 5. And if you want to see more Mystery Wrestling, Mystery Wrestling 6 will be coming back on February 4th. I have to remember it. <laughs> I, we have to change the date today, February 4th. That's a Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be back. I will be announcing the guest this week, so do follow us on our social media. Excalibur, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much. This is a very warm welcome to Gatineau, Quebec, Canada. Mystery Wrestling 5. This was... This was a Dude, fun it was time. This it was, was something. No, no. This was great. This was great. It's great! It's great! It's so good! <laughs>